Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. This is for the how-to series of tutorials on my channel. And uh, today we will be making a custom theme for uh, Discord or better Discord. And all the links to uh, this will be in the description below. So uh, check it out there. Um, and yeah, this is a better Discord theme generator that I've got open in my browser right now. And as you can see, there are three templates we can choose from. There's Neutron X, there's Dunes, and there's Colorize. Uh, Neutron X has the most uh, abilities, most things that you can change. Uh, Dunes is a bit more of a minimalistic version. And Colorize is only uh, if you want to change the colors of Discord. It's only for the uh, colors, no images whatsoever as the background. And uh, I think today's tutorial will be on Neutron X. Um, there is a downside to Neutron X and that being that at the top where it says Discord, for example here, um, it says Discord Neutron X. And if you don't want that, then this theme will be your desired one. I recommend using Dunes if you don't want a Discord Neutron X saying on, uh, at the top uh, of your Discord uh, client. So yeah, let's go to uh, Discord Neutron X and let's open this. Now, as you can see, there are several options we can change here. Uh, by the way, you can also support the person that wrote the code for this. Um, and yeah, you can uh, use the name here, set up the name for whatever you want it to be. And I'm going to call it Wampus because I'm going to base my theme around Wampus, the Discord kind of, oh, sorry, Discord mascot. Uh, I'm just going to Wampus, yeah. And... Um, Let's go to images. That's the first tab here. You click on it and as you can see it opens all the options for it. Um, you go to file because I personally prefer that. Otherwise you'll have to take the direct URL of the image uh, which might be a bit more difficult. Uh, so if you've downloaded the file already you can just use uh, the file selection tool and uh, I've got set up a folder here. I'm going to use the one plus uh, background that looks like that. And as you can see, you've got a direct preview here on the right side of how everything will look like uh, once you've set it up. And right now there's a big X symbol, so we want to change that to a Wampus as well uh, for our logo. So what we do is we go into select file again and we take a photo that has no background or is pre-keyed. And we open that and as you can see, it applies the Wampus logo right in that corner there. Um, now we can change the image brightness, so uh, how much it is contrasted um, as you can see, so the transparency basically that you can set up for an image. Uh, I'm going to make it 50%. Uh, I think that's a good thing, especially if you've got really bright images. Uh, if it's a uh, moderately bright image, you can either go with the standard preset like kind of like that or like this and uh, yeah. But this is a pretty bright image, so I'll go with 50% here. Uh, then I'm going back on this and we'll go and check out um, the font section. And the font section, I will also link this in the video description. Uh, it relies on Google Fonts. So all their fonts that uh, they use, um, you can use. So basically, um, there's a big selection of fonts that you can use for your Discord client. Um, I'm not sure what exactly to use. I'm just going to take Baloo Tambi. Uh, okay, no, I don't think I should. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm just going to copy the name and you can type the name in here. And as you can see, it will already apply the name. Yeah, that actually worked pretty well. Um, so I'll leave that on there. And let's go to colors. So colors, uh, you can check out the spectrum here. I will open a color spectrum for you. And uh, you can set it up exactly and fine tune it exactly as you want by uh, shifting these here. Um, as you can see also on the color spectrum, you can shift it around. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, personally, what I do is I usually take the color of the image. So um, there's ways of doing this. Uh, I personally prefer Photoshop. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it because uh, it will get a bit difficult. But um, yeah, I actually might still do one or two customizations. Uh, wait, if we can find pinkish kind of. Uh, yeah, it looks fine. Um, primary to... Uh, I would make that kind of a violet color. 
yeah and links uh, I want those kind of orange because of the thing here and yeah as you can see life preview shows you pretty much everything you need to know about the theme and see how it will look like in advance now uh, you've got all the colors now you can check out the text colors and you can change their color uh, I I actually wanted to check uh, how the home looks like because it might look weird so you can actually change the chat color for example make it look like this um, which doesn't really make a lot of sense so I'll just leave it white um, but yeah you can also change the role titles uh, to whatever color they're supposed to be um, I'm gonna make them pinkish so as you can see it will say online like that channel selected uh, you can change the color of the text of it uh, channel default channel muted there's a lot of options you can you can go through uh, to change to customize it as much as you want um, then there's uh, background colors and that isn't really that important uh, unless you want really you really want to customize all the overlays as well so example if you uh, change some of these I'm gonna actually do that just for the purpose of this tutorial um, as you can see nothing really happens and that is actually because it's uh, it's there's an image if there wouldn't be an image uh, those colors would actually pop up so customizing those is no there's no real point of doing that uh, so I'm also just gonna leave it and uh, I'm just gonna revert everything to dark and yeah um, let's go to mini themes mini themes is kind of a bit also customization a bit whatever you want uh, you can actually have the images of the people squared if you want that. You can have them rounded uh, with the outlay and you can have them default with the dot uh, point next to it. Uh, then there's servers, so you can have default size, so you can uh, have them resized to bigger, have them smaller. Uh, you can have the top bar um, kind of disconnected if you need that um, it will pop it up a bit more and uh, then you've got server columns so you can have two columns if you want it that way um, which is a cool feature if you need some practical uh, settings and then there's compact lists uh, I prefer them on channels so if you click like hover over channels it will um, it will drag out it will expand and if you go out of them they, it will contract and you've got also members you can also do that on the members so uh, they can pop out like that and uh, see-through background basically it makes you allow allows you to look through the background but there's no point of enabling that um, you need to enable the transparency options in better discord settings see-through mini theme to work yeah so yeah um, I'm gonna enable the channels and we'll, we can go back there and then we can already download the theme so it will be uh, exported and uh, you can save it it's a theme css and i'm going to save it to my desktop so we can uh, check it out right away inside of discord so yeah um let's open up discord there we go so what we click is open theme folder and as we can see it opens the theme folder i'm just going to delete the old monopus and um, we just drag in the wampus theme and now if we go back to Discord, as you can see, it says Wampus V Auto Update by Spectra. And uh, you can still change these, this stuff in the CSS editing. If you, know, if you know a little bit about CSS editing, you can actually use that. And uh, yeah, do your own kind of theme or t change some settings in it. And yeah, I'll enable it. And as you can see, uh, it right away enables all of the Wampus uh, design features that I've selected. Uh, I should probably make the background a bit darker because it's a bit hard to read text and uh, not a lot of the overlays are visible so I might change that uh, in the future but you can tweak this and also test it on your client uh, if you want so so yeah just make sure on the website that uh, you don't have a lot of things loaded for example I've, I have dark reader and if I enable dark reader uh, it might break some of the CSS as you can see it will revert um, to the original image and if I turn it off it works again so don't use uh, a lot of plugins uh, on on your Chrome or extensions on this website because it might break the website so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed the video uh, if you've got any questions you can ask them on uh, uh, the uh, in the 
comments below and uh, if you want to contact me directly there's a link in the description for our discord server arctic elements and yeah so thanks guys for watching and i hope you've enjoyed this one as well and yeah see you guys in the next one